Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, rather gorgeous in my opinion 1998 on an S Land Rover Defender 90 300 TDI soft top that's just emerged from a full refurbishment um, inspired by the Heritage Edition and also inspired by the uh, the lovely examples that Cool and Vintage in Portugal turn out. Um, hope you like the videos. One walk around, one driving. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, rather gorgeous, in my opinion, 1998 on an S, so it's one of the very last. Um, Land Rover Defender 90 300 TDI soft tops. That's just emerged from uh, a very nice refurbishment in the style of both the Heritage Edition and also the uh, examples produced by Cool and Vintage in Portugal that um, kind of hark back to the uh, sort of 60s and early 70s style um, so and the decision was chosen to paint it in blue in homage to that rather than the uh, more familiar um, heritage green which uh, I must admit I agree with I think it looks rather lovely um, spec wise we've got things like heritage front grille um, galvanized front bumper underneath we've got new terra firma uh, heavy duty steering <coughs> damper and bar and everything um, it's got LED lights, metal um, vent grills and stuff. Obviously the HUE 166 badge is on it. Also comes with the HUE registration number, which is nice to see. Um, color coded door mirrors, mud flaps all round, wolf style wheels with, uh, again, color coded with a matching set of five Goodyear Wrangler MTR tires. New Exmoor trim soft top. We said mud flaps all round. It's got the tow bar, but I don't know that we've got the ball with it. There is a bag in the back. There was some stuff in the tow bar. The tow ball may be in there. Um, talking about the back, obviously we've got a nice pair of rear seats matching the front, except without the piping. We've got galvanized tub corners. Again, nice to see. And otherwise, internally, we have um, billet aluminium door handles. These lovely uh, pipe leather seats in standard pattern, but um, really much nicer than, uh, than standard ones will ever be. Centre um, center cubby box, billet aluminium, uh, gear knob and uh, transfer box knob. This one's also been fitted with, uh, with electric windows um, and a nice uh, wood rim steering wheel. Seat belt bar in the back, as you can see, spare wheels mounted there. Truly, it is, it is rather lovely. It's also got um, the protector corners on the uh, on the seat box. Done a very good job on this, in my opinion. Anyway, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. I don't think I'll be able to show you many bad bits. All looks superb around the front. Bonnet's lovely. The only thing I can see is a slight paint blemish, a little bit of reaction just coming up just here on the back of the bonnet. Near side rear wing is all nice. Underneath it, it is the original chassis on this one. So it will be able to be exportable um, in a few years time, in 2023. Um, a post, it's also got stainless steel bolt kit on it. A post is lovely. Scuttle corner on the near side is splendid screen is nice screen rubber is new tiny run in the paint just up there and a couple of minor marks just here near side door i think it's had refurbished doors as well all in great shape apart from a slight mark just on the back of the door just there um, but i think it's had new uh, new skins on it and uh, new skins and the base is refurbished yeah um, inside here, dash top is all nice, not to cut or split. Seats are obviously brand new and gorgeous. It's, um, it's great in here, really good. New soft top and frame. Near side rear wing, lovely. It's just where we've cleaned it. Slight imperfection in the um, in the actual moulding of the uh, the eyebrow just there. Have a look at how we look underneath. 
some point it's had a new rear cross member with extensions on it. I don't think that was done as part of the refurbishment though. I think that was done before. Around the tail end, nice to see the, um, the tailgate isn't dented in the usual spot. But we've talked about in the back here how nice it is in there as well. And again, looking down the offside, looks beautifully straight. Hmm. I, this is a cracking machine, actually. Offside rear wing, all nice. And the back end there. Offside door, offside front wing, it's just an insect. All good. Again, under here. up on the scuffle again this door has had a new skin put on it um, and the frame has been refurbished on the bottom edge it's just my dirty footprints in there when I've uh, just been moving it but yeah special car this one special car and really rather lovely in my opinion anyway my name is simon you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com okay we'll do a quick video of uh, start up and running whilst warm on this defender let's put the handbrake on so showing 146,000 miles all the lights come up as they should starts on the button no problems there. Let's pop out and show you on the bonnet. No funny noises. Nothing there that shouldn't be there. You can belt gasket on there. was originally white as you can see from the bulkhead. There we have it. All doing what it should.